All right, all right. Pay attention. Pay attention. I'm going to try to keep this short, and I'll show you three things. And whatever I cover in this episode, I'm going to keep it separate from the rest. Instead of doing a long one-hour video, everything mashed up, i rather separate the topics. Yes, there will be long videos, but i rather separate the topics, maybe five minutes, six minutes, ten minutes chunk. In that way, you can focus, and also I can keep track, right? So I'm going to show you three things. I'm going to come to this. Solar Bank, huge channel. I talked about this a few days ago, but I couldn't show you the video or whatever. So just for the record, okay? What are the chances I landed on this, just only this video? And I happen to also add that, the pick to my watch list, just so I can follow along and just see where it goes. I mean, what are the chances? They, they do multiple videos a day, sitting at 2.53 million subscribers. 457 views, 1,000 views, almost half a million on that very video. It's kind of rare, but one thing to note, wherever you mention Trump, that video the, uh, tends to perform very decent. It's not only the election, it's just the figure. He's a character. It does, to some extent. It's a hit or a miss. Trump is about to change everything, and this is why they want him dead. Redacted with Clayton Morris. And over here, I'm going to show you everything, okay? They promoted a token called Solar Bank. The feature is bright. Right? I'm going to show you something. Go all the way down. You can see here that, listen, I'm not here pointing fingers and blaming. They have, the, they have a responsibility. They know that. But they're straight up. They, told, they mentioned about, about the sponsorship and disclaimer and whatnot, right? It's right there. But how many people would read it? Uh, yeah, I doubt. So I, who do you blame? The researcher or the one who and i also can tell you one thing when you're in a huge position this is just a guess okay assumption it happens unless you're really into finance you know everything this is not a financial channel all right this is like geopolitics and everything so imagine taking a pick from a channel like that of course if you even take it from financial advisors which i said do not and i'll do another video where i'll, I'll sh talk about a few individual youtubers whom i follow to some extent and they are decent so you could follow along as well all right stay tuned so, like I said, they probably have no idea about the Sun Corp, Corp whatnot. It's just like the dudes knew they're going to pump and dump. They came to this, you know, individuals. Hey, man, we'll pay you like this much, blah, blah, blah. And how about you just chill? All right. Hey, put in the list. Not like, oh, you know what? Let me actually research on this. Let me see how this is or that. No. It just randomly put it out there for the subscribers, 2.5 million. This got four something, right? And clearly at the bottom, you can see here, it said... From here, these videos are for entertainment purposes only. We may have an ownership interest in them. Do not make buying or selling decisions based on these videos. If you need advice, please contact qualified, blah, blah, blah. And then at the bottom, it says, this video was con conducted on behalf of Solar Bank. That is huge. This video was conducted. You mean the entire video? So it, it's like a hidden, it's a hidden advertising to some extent, basically. Like, that's why I said it's very interesting. And videos like this don't perform well whenever I do a video like covering all this. But if I instead shield the token, that video would have taken off. That's irony of the space. If I called out the scammer, it doesn't do well. But if I actually scammed, I probably would perform a lot better. It says clear, uh, clearly, for our full disclaimer, and yeah, it says, um, was funded by Gold Standard Media LLC and our affiliates. For full disclaimer, please visit blah, blah, blah. Cool. Before playing this video, a little bit, because this is the part where he talks about the solar bank and whatnot. All right? I want to show you. No, this is not solar bank. This is so Salesforce. Solar Bank, where are you? Solar? I don't see you. Oh, it's not here. It's not on this list. Wait, it has to be up somewhere. It's mooning. Oh, oh, okay. It's right here. Solar Bank Corporation. Yes, sir. That's Solar Bank. Okay. After shilling almost half a million, ask yourself what just happened? Especially when everything is pumping in the market, most of the token. This is supposed to pump a lot harder than most, according to the research and whatnot, because if he wins and all that, and everything happened, right? It's just opposite. Others are going up, this is tanking harder. Why? Well, I don't know. I can do a research, I can go and just plug it. Hey, what's up with Sun Token? I don't know much about Sun Token. I did a video, I said, did you fall for the scam? Just by looking at the price, I'm not calling this whole thing a scam. I'm just calling the whole system, whatever these dudes did, came out and just, you know, put it out there and people bought and just got dumped that system the whole method scam i have no idea about solar bank corporations i'm not holding any so i just saw the pattern you know it's what are the chances 
That dude has, uh, the channel has thousands of videos. I happen to just watch that video particularly and then find this. And I'm like, okay, what just happened? Random, right? But it's, it's something to pay attention to because all these things get forgotten. And I like to document things so we can go back and see where it started and how it played out. So we can learn something from it. That's about it. All right. Same thing. Whatever I'm giving you is for educational, informational, and entertainment purposes only. Sometimes it's a little cringe. I understand. I'll drop the cringe part very soon, okay? Now I'm going to play the video, and you're going to watch this. And I told you I'm going to show you three things. So this is just one and two. Just wait on it. So this was at 3.30 cents and September 19th, around that time, 18, 19th. All right? And if you note, this video was posted on September 22nd. Again, if you go back, it is exactly that date. See that? 20, 21st, 22nd. That's actually when it took off. Yeah, of course, I have to break it apart. But look at the date here. See that? There you go, there you go, 22nd. Right there, 23rd, 22nd. You see that? That's when the whole green spike. Same date, so it matches. Okay, that's number one. Second, I'm gonna play this. On the NASDAQ. I reached fast. out to them to sponsor this video because of what Trump is planning and how this could affect their company. Here is their ticker symbol on your screen. It is S-U-U-N. And if you've ever wanted to know exactly where my biggest personal market bets are right now, where my most critical market moves are, pay attention to this one, guys. Okay, first of all, the timing of this video is on purpose. Did he say that was his like, biggest personal bet? No. The solar bank just hit an all-time low. But look at this. This is an analyst report, not me. This is an analyst report with a price target of $10 a share. That's triple the current price. All right, I have to pause this for more context. He did provide this screenshot of the buy price, whatever. So he's saying, oh, you know what? It was bought at this price. And now it's at $3.30, which is the lowest ever, blah, blah, blah. However, I haven't verified it. I can still, if I needed to, but right now I don't have everything prepared. I could plug it on, you know, an AI tool or whatever. Give me the uh, financial history of some token so I can understand and evaluate, right? That's second. Then I can say if it's a scam or whatever. But the looking at the whole pattern, whatever they did, that kind of like put me off, man. So I'll link that analyst report up in the description. You can read here. all about it and you can see why exactly this analyst is picking it at $10 a share. Now, as you're well aware, Trump's chief plan for the economy includes doubling the electrical production of the United States in order to dominate artificial intelligence in the 21st century. So, he wants again, America to be the global. This is a, like a very huge shill, right? Not even a second. He's taking a very decent chunk and literally said this whole video, which is 13 minutes long, was actually conducted behalf of one thing. So guessing they got paid very handsomely it, based on the subscriber base and the whole thing they did but they were paid handsomely all right they, don't, they haven't mentioned that i'm not here to pick point uh what do you call you know pick individuals and point and talk nasty i'm not doing that i'm just literally showing you whatever just happened simple all right i'm not criticizing him or anything just, just showing you look at this here because when i have to criticize i would Look, in this case, seriously, think about it. Because you are learning about Solar Bank today, no one has ever been able to buy shares at a better price than we get to right now. It's actually mind boggling. And when the market does, present you nobody was ever to uh, <sighs> price that we get to right now. It's actually mind boggling. And when the market does present you with those opportunities like it is right now with this company, with Solar Bank, yep. I had to bring attention to it because this is a business I just love. I love what this company does. I've been following this company for a few years now. Now, Trump's greatest comment from the Bitcoin conference a few weeks ago was this on turning America into an electricity producing juggernaut. Why? Do I have to play like more than this for real? So the only point here was you're getting at the best price possible, right? And that was, uh, what was that? 333. Perfect. And ladies and gents, ta-da. Yes, sir. If you look at it, 333. Look, look, exactly 333. You see that? The whole thing matches right there, 333. This whole thing went up to $4.50, and when that goes up like that, everybody, the FOMO kicks in. Oh, wow, I, I gotta pay, you know, put my, all my life savings into this. Then, from here, it went all the way to $5.10. That's massive. If you don't understand how this game works, from 3.30 to 5.10 is a very decent gain when you have thousands of shares or millions of shares given or whatever to dump. So, depends on how much they're printed and all, which I don't know, the financial, whatever, the you know, but looking at this, how does it look like a good thing? I mean, the entire chart looks so nasty, like a one of the worst crypto rug pulls in a way. I mean, yeah, if you're holding bags, you know what you're doing. This is wild. 
it's not only back to like three dollar thirty cents, which is the which was the lowest. It's literally going to two dollar thirty cents almost. Look, it went to two dollar fifty two, and then somebody bought a little bit, obviously, because everything is pumping. So somebody took a chance. But what are the chances, man? Ask yourself, like, what are the chances? This is something which is very, very risky because there's two sides to this. One is, wow, I'm getting at the most lowest price. What if this guy pumps again? Okay, blah, blah, blah. That's a very least possibility, man. They just move on. What are the chances you're going to call him and like, hey, man, you pumped and dumb. I lost my life savings. You think they're going to respond? Bro, they are busy. We're all busy moving forward and stuff. Well, I tend to care a little too much, but should care less. Regardless, you got to be careful. Your bag, your decision, you made it, your choice, right? And you get what you get. So again, this is Solar Bank. So that was number one. Two and three will, is going to be very short. Why? Because the average, because I wanted to know who is actually pumping the market. It's not the average American, right? It's basically the, all the rich and the, all the corporation, whatever. The average American has 62,410 in transaction accounts. That's much they have in balance. Wow, that's huge. I thought they were poor. Oh, okay. I was wrong, man. Hmm. Which includes shaking, savings, money market, call deposit, and prepaid cards. However, the median balance is 8,000. Okay, wait. There's a however. Spoke too early. There's a median balance is 8,000, which may be better representation of the average American savings. This is because the average can be skewed by a small number of households with very high balances. You see this? The difference? Because a small number of things... No recession, they're, you know, buying steak every day. They're eating steak for dinner, lunch, breakfast. No issues. Others are like me when I smell steak once a month. I'm like, heaven, right? <laughs> That's the difference. This is because the average can be screwed. Now, going a little down. I'm like, okay, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. What is this? According to a November 2023 survey, the go bank race. Nearly half of Americans have 500 or less stay in their savings account. 500 or less? Only 54% of Americans have enough savings to cover three months of expenses, and only 45 can cover 400 expenses. Do you see this? I mean, what are the chances the data is wrong by like 100%? No, maybe 1%, 2% here and there, but this is the accurate data right here. Only 54% of Americans have enough savings to cover three months of expenses. And only 45 can cover a 400 expense. And that's the reality. Ladies and gents, imagine if these dudes are the ones. And by the way, who pumped the stock market? The main, the big ones? The big dudes, the corporation, the rich dude. Who pumped sun? The retailers, the one with $400 savings. You're telling me all the huge dudes are watching redacted, falling along every single day, and they just fail for this. No, sir. I can dig deeper if I have to, or maybe hit up CoffeeZilla or ZXBD so they can dig deeper. But you can clearly see that there is pump and dumps and um, shenanigans and corruption in stock as well. There are stock market, you know, picks which are totally so-called scam, scamsies. I wanted to talk about another one, Super Microcomputer. They thought this was, this was a scam, but they said, no, no, no. Basically, this is performing like very bad. That's why it's where it is. I'll do another video on this, okay? Stay tuned. Because there's something more to learn from it. And I, I want to expand on that. Last but not the least. Tell me. What are the chances of me even coming across this on one of the random forums? Well, uh, Facebook Marketplace, basically. This is the latest. And this is just one instance. Currently homeless. And my kids and I are having a sleep in my car tonight. And I know it's short notice. But would anyone have a couple blankets that we could use for the night? We don't have any blankets at all. You know, I have like tears in my eyes. I'm like... And there's 49 comments. People were literally helping out. I didn't see many men, but I see a lot of females as usual. I get it. And I really thought I would to some extent because it's not further away from my area, right? So I thought, you know, should I? Should... But then I'm seeing enough people. I have my own issues and stuff, but that's not the point. I've seen enough comments. They're like, hey, I'm coming. I've been doing this. I'm like, well, again, God is kind. But then she says she has a two-year-old kid who could use, you know, some breakfast and stuff. And then a lot of other comments. I think you should meet at the police station here or this. She wanted to meet outside some Walmart and all because she's in a car, vehicle. That's not the point. I'm showing you this for a totally different context. Showing you what's the situation of the economy. There's just one instance, all right? But that's not the only thing. There's two things you can take out from this, okay? The economy and what's happening, the averages. And second, 
the two sides. One individual who posted, she needs two blankets, and followed by another post just below that, by another individual. My daughter is turning 18 in three months, and I'm looking for a barns, venue, or warehouse that she can have her birthday party at. We just moved to the area not too long ago, and I don't know much about the area as of yet. So I'm wondering if anyone knows any places to look at. We yet don't know the theme, but I know it's going to be around 100 people plus some adult. So if anyone can give me some places to call and look, that would be great. Thanks, nine comments. It's wild, isn't it? One person, individual on top, like at the top, can't eat food, is homeless, sitting in a car. It was 40 degrees cold. It's really cold. 40 degrees with a kid. Two kids, one, two years old, just needed blanket. And the second one over there is looking for a birthday party for the daughter who's going to be turning, turning 18. My daughter's turning 18 in three months. 18 year old. And they're looking for a barn. 100 people plus some adults. Crazy, isn't it? I'm... I'm just came across this. I thought, you know, I just present it to you. I don't know why I do certain things. It just clicks and that's it. So if you really paid attention to the whole scenario here about how this whole thing works, the average American having this, 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 the bank account and literally falling for this scams yet choose more to get more scammed instead of reaching out to some of the other annons who are actually in reach, need of help. So instead of, I, I you know, I don't, Control your money and all that stuff. I cannot tell you where to put your money and all that. That's your stuff. That's your life. But the irony of this whole thing, that people choose to gamble in the memes and Ponzi's, knowing that they will lose, most likely, instead of even, you know, lending a hand but like forward and say, hey, you know what? I got this extra stuff. I can help you out, maybe. Or this and that. It's wild. I know there are people who do. They do. You can see that. 49 comments. So there is good in this world. There is. I don't doubt that at all. I mean, that itself, you know, motivates me. It's crazy. So please, whatever you buy, pay attention because it's it's real. I believe in data. When I was telling my mom, she's like, yeah, T is here. She, she, they don't understand anything about the economy and all that. And they are not even biased or non-biased. They don't. She, if you talk about Trump being good, she would be like, yeah, Trump is awesome. Okay, fine. He's going to fix it. I'm like, just because I elected him or I voted for him or whatever, doesn't mean he can really fix it. You can't fix a decades-long destruction in a day or a month or even four years, man. And the data doesn't lie. No, 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 he's going to fix it. And I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful. Okay, don't get me wrong. But what do you mean by fixing when the data doesn't add up? If I say you have like this much of your debt, trillions of debt, and you have to you know, cut down your expenses, you have to cut down this and this, increase some taxes and all that, you're not doing this. You're doing the opposite. How can you do the opposite and still fix it? It doesn't add up. If you increase taxes, give hardship to the people, that's when you're going to be able to fix it to some extent. But if you tell them you're going to give them hardship, they will not vote for you. So then, hence, you have to lie and do stupid things, I guess, right? It's wild, isn't it? Anyways, ladies and gents, thanks for watching. I appreciate your time. I don't know. I never expected this to be 18 minutes long. I'm going to keep it this way. I literally thought I have more the, uh, things I want to talk about. The stock and some other stuff people do follow. Which means expect more videos. Maybe today or later tomorrow. Okay. I mean, that's why I would do it. Impromptu. I have a lot of ideas or topics in my mind. Sometimes I save it on my bookmarks. And then when I just come, I just give it to you. One by one. That's it. So thanks for watching. Please be very vigilant. And if you find any gold in terms of uh, important nice pick that has the potential to go up, please hit me in the comments. Or just reach out through email. I have the links in the description. All right? All right. I'm out. And have a great weekend.